Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, what the hell is this latest drip marketing from Honkai Star Rail? Bro came out the blue, like literally out the blue. According to the community, we were supposed to be expecting and anticipating an entirely different character. But instead, we got a male version of Arlecchino from Genshin Impact. I mean, what is going on? <laughs> I'll be honest, y'all know I'm a big fan of the male characters in Honkai. So I'm actually excited about this guy because he looks like an absolute Chad. But I would be lying to you if I did not say I was expecting someone else. Let me give me a minute. Let me pull up Arlecchino just so anybody who doesn't play Genshin Impact can see this. Like Honkai fans. Yeah. bro is literally a male version of this pro i know somebody in the we're gonna check the tweets i know somebody's got that dr strange meme i will love you in every universe like bro just take a look same color scheme same two-tone color of hair and let's go back what the bro ain't no way also why is the quality of this so freaking refined bro look at this 4k hd quality bro this shit blurry what's going on huh all right well anyways i don't mind i was actually before i stopped playing genshin and sumeru this was one of the coolest like characters on the fatui like roster that i had seen so it's cool that we have like some male version to a degree of her that looks super sick now i want to get into this over here though because this is the coolest thing guys this is a bullet as the eye and then there's a bullet hole as the dot of the eye and brother has for his weapon of choice a revolver with a whip if i can't think of like the most fun and creative play styles with this weapon of choice I, i'm serious i can see brother being Jin from League of Legends, right? On the fourth shot, it's an incredibly enhanced revolver buckshot, pow, right? And then he just whips you upside the head, or maybe he whips you upside the head, like around the neck, and then shoots you in the head. What if his ult, oh my God, I'm getting, hold on, hold on, we gotta go, we gotta go full screen. What if brother's ult is he whips out a fat ass sniper rifle, bro, and he just Jin ults the whole damn field, pow, pow, pow. Oh, I'm getting excited just thinking about this, man. All right, maybe, maybe I've been playing League of Legends for too damn long, but holy. I like the whip, though. I'm a massive Castlevania fan, so anything with a whip, I'm always a fan of. I, I'm genuinely curious how they're going to incorporate this man's weapon of choice into the combat mechanics. I'm, I'm genuinely excited. However, there's one big concern, and it's that he belongs to the Hunt Path. As we all know, Hunt Path characters are going to struggle inevitably with AOE. Pure Fiction, pretty much every single one of them is dog water. Sela Copers will try to convince you that Sela's good in there. I mean, I don't know, you yeah. know. Topaz, however I heard, which I didn't use her in the latest Pure Fiction, but I heard that she's doing pretty well with the follow-up synergy. Either way, I would love it. I would not complain if they made an exception for this guy to have some AOE in his kit. But this leads me to my next thing. If they're gonna put somebody like him in the game and make him a Hunt Path character, I think it's very fitting, right? Hunt Path, Revolver, dude's a cowboy. So he puts a bounty on your head. He literally will hunt the shit out you, right? Like that, I think he's also another epitome of Hunt Path, of the path he's representing. I'm all over the place, guys, I'm excited. But what I'm trying to say here is it would be really cool if they like actually tie his kit into revolving around action value advancement and speed. If they give him the enhanced revolver shot, then you're going to build him for a bunch of speed and action advancement to where every time that fourth or third or whatever the shot comes around, it's an enhanced, powerful sounding. The, they're going to have to do the thing on the SFX, right? The SFX is everything with a revolver character, but and the whip, what that, right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. This shit is cool. This is super cool. But seriously, if they make his kit concept, revolve around speed and action value advancement and give him enhanced shot with like a sniper rifle ult i shouldn't be doing this to myself because if they change it all up then i'm gonna be pissed and i don't have anybody to be mad at but myself but if they were to do that god damn it i would pull on this character in an absolute heartbeat i skipped out on argenti i'm not a fan of clara so i need a physical dps regardless i really do i need a physical dps i'd love to make him my physical dps but that hunt path is always like mm, you know i don't i need an aoe or in, in particular but i'll settle for this dude bro for whatever reason too this t over here reminds me of an old school anime one of my favorite og original gangster animes uh and it's called vampire hunter d just this t right here even trinity blood trinity blood and vampire Vampire Hunter D are like the best vampire animes from back in the gap. And for whatever reason, this T is just reminding me of that. 
On the other hand, Boot Hill is a cool ass name. Bro's a cowboy, so I like that. Let's get into the biography, man. We'll come back around to this in a bit, but drip wise, I shit you not, 12 out of 10 drip. Honkai, Star Rail, Holyoverse as a whole, their drip is unrivaled. I will always say that and praise them. Do I agree with everything they do and how they go about things? No, but man, the drip marketing is insane. Let's go ahead and read this. <clears throat> here's, my, uh, here's my twisted fate right here. Y'all ready for this twisted fate? So, here's the thing. Someone went and tinkered with my synesthesia beacon. So now, all you folks can hear is me and those adorable little troublemakers talking like this. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Look at here, see? Boy, I put the cowboy hat on. Hold up now. Bow, bow. She remind me of, of Tom and Jerry when, <laughs> when Tom had the cowboy hat on. My <laughs> that shit funny. A cyborg cowboy drifting among the stars, extremely optimistic and unrestrained. Okay, so he sees the best and everything. Those characters can honestly get kind of annoying, but I also like them. Like, uh, case in point, the first person that comes to mind is um my boy. Wow, I'm actually really mad at myself. He's my favorite character in the goddamn show, Demon Slayer. Um, Tengen, Tengen, there you go, Tengen Azui. When, uh, when everybody thought like bro was like down bad, and he was down bad, but he had this unwavering confidence and he was like, I'm doing fine. I'm in my best condition. Bro was in his worst condition. But like that shit, I, it's times where I like extremely optimistic and then there's times where extremely optimistic can be annoying. But okay, continuing on. He is a member of the Galaxy Rangers who swore to punish the wretched by any and all means. His flamboyant and brash actions were all to draw the attention of the International Peace Corporation, the target of his revenge. Hold up, bro got a bounty on Zestarain? Is bro, is bro targeting Zestarine? That's his bounty? Or is bro targeting them cheeks on Topaz? <laughs> he targeting them cheeks on Topaz. <laughs> Got a bounty on that ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, hold on, man. Listen, hey, listen. It's a little coomer in me. Y'all know I be fucking around, bro. Don't take me too serious. His, his voice actor is Andrew Russell. Uh, for y'all who are the English VA connoisseurs, please comment down below. I uh, politely ask you to inform me who, what animes have they done? What other games have they done? You guys are always like very informed on that regard. I don't know who Andrew Russell is. Plus, it also shines a light on that VA. I do have a good degree of exposure with my with my platform. So if we can put some some uh, some people on game on who this is, that would be nice. Uh, anyways, as I was telling y'all, I was going to look for... Um, somebody with the i know somebody down in this comment section has the uh the uh doc look, there it is there it is there it is. i told you bro i told you look look here it is i love you in every universe <laughs> what did eo say hold on let me push back up what did eo say i love that the t in his name is a blood slash that's hot bro maybe he put the he put the uh vast stampede in there too maybe that's what i was like because i was looking at this like with a sense of familiarity maybe it was vast stampede maybe that's where i got it from i don't know by the way i did like the enhanced version of this anime i thought it was pretty cool they brought it back not getting off topic though uh dearest bootleg i am writing you this letter to introduce myself my name is zyox but you can call me nick boy if you don't get your head out i would love to get to know you better i am good friends with both Linny and lynette and have heard wonderful things about you. Oh, bro out here, serious. All right, bet. They are siblings, no firefly. Tie me up and spit on me, Boot Hill. Step on me. I have no clue who you are, but that's okay. Sip, sip stuff. I don't know who you are. We've never met before, but you gotta be the most down, bad, horrendous, unhinged creator I've seen on Twitter. If you go and watch any of my drip marketing reveals, Sip, Sip Stefan is at the top with the most thirsty tweets i've ever seen it's absolutely hilarious every time you got the most unhinged tweets brother what is happening over somebody get this man some water he needs some milk now nah, all love though all love do you think i'm just teasing you because it's part of the entertainment coming back up here though when it's all said and done i need me a physical dps this guy looks super sick he is a physical hunt path dps I genuinely think he's probably going to be good with Robin. Knowing Honkai Star Rail's development team and marketing team, they love giving you a problem first and then giving you the solution later or giving you a synergy and then giving you the synergy right after that, like back to back. You know what I mean? They did that with Imbiber Lunay's rerun. Then they followed it up with Sparkle, his literal best synergy in the game. So I feel like he, him and Robin are probably going to be incredibly uh, synergistic. 
we'll see what happens anyways i was all over the place with this super excited this was a cool reveal i no, no one expected this i don't know where the hell this guy came from man <laughs> but comment down below let me know peace love and happiness catch you guys on the flip side